Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss these Cisco access point modes. So as we know that access point, the primary job is to provide wireless network access to their clients. There will be some clients, mobile handset, laptop, they will be looking for some wireless access and this access point has to do the job. And wireless LAN controller controls most of the functionality of lightweight access points, which we discussed in split access point architecture. We just divided the functionality of fun fully functional access point into two parts anyway. So as per configuration from WLC, these lightweight access point can work in one of the following modes. So it means there will be somewhere WLC that WLC will be controlling some lightweight access point and this lightweight access point can be configured in some of the modes. So these are some of the modes which we are going to discuss in this video. The first one is local mode. This is the default operation of connecting wireless clients to network. So by default, this is the uh, access points are, the lightweight access points are in local mode. and uh, in this case, the primary job is data services. So more than 90% of the activities are supposed to be performed to provide the data services, 98, 99%. In addition to that, it can do the intrusion detection system events. Intrusion detection uh, system means they are going to monitor a network for malicious activity or policy violations. So sometimes they look for these all things as well. They measure the level of noise in the channel. They measure the interference. Interference if some other channel is going to interfere with your wireless channel. And they also discover some rogue devices. So in simple sense, rogue means some unwanted, unwanted devices. Monitor mode. In this monitor mode, the access point does not transmit to the client. They are just there to monitor them. And in this case, this access point actually works as a sensor. This determines the position of the station. What, for example, what are the locations of some stations? And this checks for intrusion detection system events. It means this gives more time to these activities. And it also detects a rogue access point. For example, if there is some access point which is considered to be rogue, then it detects that one. And then we have the flex connect mode. So in normal condition, the flex access mode, normal condition, the access point works as a common access point. But in case this cap web tunnel is down, it means if this tunnel is down, you can see here, if the cap tunnel is down between access point and the wireless controller, then this access point can switch traffic between SSIDs and VLAN locally. So now, if this fails, this part is not there, for example, then this access point is, can still manage the local traffic. But for that, these access points actually needs to be configured to do that. Configuration is needed. And then sniffer mode. So sniffer is actually hardware or software that is used to monitor network traffic. It means now this access point is, is, will work as a, as, a, as a sniffer and this will capture the packet. And it will capture actually the wireless frames and those wireless frames are sent to some computer network analyzer tools. For example, we have Wireshark. So Wireshark is a free packet analyzer tool which will give you all the information about these packets that what kind of traffic is flowing through your network. What is the source address? What is the destination? There's so much information is there which can be displayed by this computer. So in this case, in this kind of mode, this act as a sniffer, sniffing tool. And then we have the rogue detector mode. As the name suggests, the access points detect the rogue devices. So in this case, actually only reception is done and no transmission is performed by access point. You see, no transmission, only just it sits idle and listens for the traffic, listens for this wireless signal. And from there, it detects the rogue 
devices and this rogue devices can be like for example this rogue device can use the same MAC address on the wireless side and this can use the same MAC address on this side as well. In this, if there is some match, then it can find the, uh, the uh, rogue uh, uh, device. But there can be different policies for that. There can be different uh, definitions for that. And as per that definition, as per that configuration, the rogue detector mode configured on this access point will detect the rogue devices. We have the bridge mode. An access point in this mode becomes a dedicated bridge between two networks, and they can work in point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint fashion. So we can have one network on this side, one network on this side, and they can work point-to-point. -point. So this is point-to-point, -point. and then it can also work as a point-to-multipoint as well. So this will be the bridge mode of these access points. And then we have flex plus bridge mode. So flex connect operation is enabled on mesh access point. So I have taken this picture from this side. You can also see there. Here we can see that we have these all mesh access points here. You can see mesh access point. Now this mesh access points are configured. So this flex connect operation is enabled on this. Then we call this mode, flex plus bridge mode. And then we have this SE connect. So SE, this is spectrum expert. So what happens? Access point in this mode works as a spectrum analyzer. Spectrum means some frequency. This is spectrum analyzer. What the access point is going to do, this is going to capture the frame and then those frames are sent to some computer. And computer has some software like Cisco Spectrum Expert. And that software actually can be used to analyze the packet. To, info, to find out some information. Maybe we can find out the interferer there. If there are someone else who's going to interfere in our channel, we can find out using this uh, Cisco Spectrum Expert. There are other tools as well, sure. And yes, this was the last slide for the Cisco access point modes. And uh, I hope uh, this session was a bit useful for you. And thank you, thank you very much for your time. and. Uh, I hope to see you in some other video.